What's up, everybody? It's your boy Justin Hyatt. Welcome to Fuck Your Feelings, the greatest podcast that ever existed. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, and share. People don't share. You gotta share. Yeah, gotta share that shit, man. You gotta share that shit, man. We got a phenomenal, phenomenal episode, man. We got Paul Elia. Uh, latest shit. I want everybody to know this. <laughs> <laughs> late as hell. But he showed up, and that's what's most important. Hell yeah. Late on late but on time. Late, late but on time. time. <laughs> most important, the Negroes. Was on time. Was on time. <laughs> hey, we starting a new, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Switch it up. 2022. It up, do what the black man do. Yeah. Uh, we got <laughs> we got G King. We got Gumbo. You be going by Christian or you be going by Gumbo? Jeremy Christian Gumbo. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Jeremy Christian Gumbo, man. That's a strong ass name. Yeah, you know, it is, you know, man. Got to. Hey, man. <laughs> so, this was, there's some things I wanted to bring up. You know what I'll never ask that I always be meaning to ask at the beginning of these shows is, is what's on your heart? Is there anything on your heart? Man, what a way to start. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's on your heart? What's on your heart? Do y'all, what's on your heart? Gumbo. Nigga, that's my therapist say, nigga. Like, oh. if, you want, if you want to start, start what you really want to get into at the beginning of this. Straight up. So I don't want to talk about it at the end because we got to end at that time. Straight up. But I mean, so, okay, you just produced like the Netflix. Did you do a Netflix as a joke? Yeah. You had your own show, right? That you yeah, produced? but they, they ended up canceling it. Oh. Dang. Yeah. Why? They said it was a ticket issue, but like we sold a decent amount of tickets, but the venue is so used to selling out immediately that they saw that we had under 100 tickets sold with two days left and they were just like yeah we're just gonna pull the show Damn. so yeah Damn. it was a wild decision i was just like that's fucked up how many yeah. seats were was the venue 150. <laughs> and they still cancel y'all shit yeah that's, that's fine <laughs> they just didn't like y'all i'll be out there so yeah that's what i think too what was the uh, yeah. venue at? It's the Peppermint Club. Oh shit, that's a nice spot, right? Yeah, it's a great spot, bro. And I mean, they're like in, in their defense, the shows before ours, all of them were like over capacity, standing room only. So they probably saw our show and they were just like, "This is a big undertaking. Should we even do this?" But you know, it, it, it's fine, bro. It is what it is. You know, I wasn't tripping. I was impressed about it. I did shows there before. I did. Oh, I opened for Mohammer mm -hmm. at the yeah, Peppermint Club. That. Yeah. Yeah, and I was doing a bunch of other shows, so I was cool with it. I had the mold, man. Definitely DM'd him. He didn't yeah. DM me back. Hey, um... <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't hit me back. He left me on red. <laughs> he, he, he didn't even left me on red, nigga. He didn't even open. He was just like, no, no, oh, no. no. DNC scene at the bottom of that <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't open it. Um, so you did one too, though. Yeah. Yours did not get canceled. How many tickets did you sell though? How many? How many videos? Did like a hundred and hundred and ten. Oh, okay. Hundred fifteen. Now, how did y'all go about getting y'all's produced? Because uh, y'all make sure y'all think on vibrate. I don't know what that means. Um, uh, how did y'all go about getting y'all's even in the festival? Like, what was the process when it came to that? Did y'all have to submit, or did Netflix contact y'all and be like, "Yo, we heard about y'all, and we want to," you know? Like, nigga, you. I was. I'm guess considered an anomaly because I ain't go by the same whatever rules everybody went by. I just went on. I don't have no manager. I don't have no agent. You know that. That's right. been my whole thing since I've been here. So for me, like I was just kind of looking at all the venues, and I kind of knew that you know some was just telling me like some of these venues people would probably get canceled or some people got bumped. Oh, right. rooms got bumped. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the homies and stuff that had, you know, what I'm saying, supposed to be on some of these shows, they had they get didn't get to go get up. So for me, I was looking at what venues that was not on that list. You right. Know what I mean, and I went and El Porto wasn't on there, so I was like, I'm gonna run the, this. This is the play. The play was I'm gonna do a show regardless. Mm. But I already knew, you know, what I'm saying as far as like like. Oh yeah, you. I'm always networking, so I already knew that I had a plug. You know what I'm saying? I was just going. Let me go ahead and do everything beforehand. Let me go ahead and set it up, do all the tickets, do all the uh, booking the comedians. I had you on. La I added you last, and um, and that was the play. I already had the venue, the comedians selling tickets already. And I was like, boom, like, hey, 
let's get this on the um gumbo was like oh yeah by the way uh justin no i'm joking yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was like yeah and i you know what i'm saying i had already had the spot but i was like let me let me get the homies that that's been fucking with me you know what i'm saying regardless small room big room period you know what right. i'm saying so i just nigga, i was like diddy and that you remember that video with Diddy trying to get the, M the mtv joint i was like nigga, like you need to get this shit on there right <laughs> you know what i mean like need to get it on there so then how did netflix find out about you though like how did you get... i mean i had a, i had a, i had, oh, a, you had a plug i had already known people that would come to like the hollywood improv so i had known people that was kind of in there i just never really thought about trying to get into the to the festival so it was like last minute i was like Nigga, like I'm, I'm about to get in this bitch. and what you did paul very similar uh matt rife had his own show and he was like yo do you want to open for me on my show and i was like um why isn't low key on this Hmm. lineup so i just built a deck i made a deck with the show info everything else and then mm -hmm. my manager sent it to a contact there and then it was immediate he was like bro they were like oh yeah low key this is great yeah what day works for y'all and then they like, sent what? us some days <laughs> they were like what day can we uh cancel you in the future <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically they ended up canceling matt's show too which was wild Man, they canceled matt's show too yeah the, 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 but his his issue was a little different there was a uh venue conflict because there's just so many mm. venues what i would say this about the netflix festival bro too I, many venues man too many shows too, too many shows it felt like they were just you know it was just a massive undertaking also to do it in la where pe mm -hmm. people can see Bill Burr, Fluffy, uh, Eliza Schlesinger, Angela Johnson, anyway. Right. You can just go to the oh, comedy store yeah, and you yeah, can yeah. see them. So to make this a, put the Netflix stamp on it, and then letting all these other shows come in. I mean, also, if you looked at what they promoted, they would promote John Mulaney, Chappelle, mm -hmm. uh, Bill Amy Burr. Schumer, Bill Burr. But a lot of these smaller shows wouldn't get as much promotion. And I get it's it. It's, yeah, man. They're like, well, y'all already got a following uh per se you, you little shows like the show that they considered our show was like one of their boutique shows so we didn't get a whole lot of love on the promotion end which is understandable i know they got to sell more tickets with these other shows but i oh, mean fuck that fuck you netflix fuck you nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, but i tell you what if y'all ever want me to do something i, I renege on everything i just said <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about? I didn't. I didn't perform on those shows, but you I went. Shouldn't. I went to a couple of shows. You know what I'm saying? I went to uh, the Marlon Wayans one. Oh, nice, but, nice. And then I, I was, was after. I was after Dave Chappelle one when dude rushed the stage, bro. Ooh, how was that? That was, was. I was. It was crazy, bro. I was like, <laughs> I was because I thought the show was over. You know what I'm saying? Because Dave phone Chappelle keep going off. Oh, Who is that? If I if I find you, I'm gonna treat your ass like Liam Neeson. It's on airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's your ass. go on. Nah, hey, Liam, is that your phone? No, I can't. My, my mic muted. My, my phone ain't going off. My phone ain't going off. Okay, but your shit don't vibrate still. Yeah, you, 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 you got phones in the room. You, you got no phones going off in there. Phone going off in there. <laughs> I don't know who called that. About ten phones in here. Yeah, yeah there's forty five phones in here. I got one. That, Justin gave me this phone. I right? know. <laughs> yeah, is, is this at an Apple store? Yeah. yeah right. I was like, <laughs> goddamn Radio Shack. <laughs> Telephone. It is a telephone. I got 12 phones. <laughs> <laughs> it is about four phones. I got four iPhones in here. That's yeah. just me. And Six. then we got. I bought, I bought one of yours that could come in. <laughs> Yo, Justin sold us all phones. <laughs> My side hustle. <laughs> he got us on a family plan. Matter of fact, Gumbo, Gumbo returned the phone. He switched out one of his old phones and upgraded to one of my phones. <laughs> Got this nigga new phone. <laughs> um, my bad. So, yeah. What the fuck were we talking about? Oh, oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't perform at any of the Netflix joke shows. But, but you uh, see Chappelle get tackled. I seen Chappelle get tackled, <laughs> and I was like, "What the?" <laughs> I thought the show was over, bro. He was like, "All right, y'all, I'm gone." And then everybody, he was done with the set, and then so he was like, "Hey, y'all, don't leave." we still gonna party and then in the middle of him about to bring up most deaf i just heard like you just hear that you just hear like like doo, 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 doo. And Jay <laughs> felt like what? he was like man what the fuck he was like man get, he was like get that nigga get him, man. <laughs> get <laughs> that, that nigga. that's all i heard bro, they just started the man dude started running in the back and then they just started all you see is heck of shirts and they just like 
Whoop it, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Bro. They, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all you hear, bro. Oh, scuffle, scuffle. <laughs> you know yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that he waited to after Dave Chappelle set. Like, you know what I'm saying? We watched this whole... <laughs> yeah, he had respect. He, he had respect. He was like, I'm not going to do it during his set. But I'm going to wait. Right yeah, but done, he, he goes, like, but fuck Black Star. Like, he the stage. <laughs> and I, thought, I thought Chris Rock was going to touch on... He didn't, he didn't mention nothing about it. He just, like, came out. He was like... When he came out, the crowd went crazy. They was like... Ah. Well, Chris was, Rock, they have footage, he said, was that Will Smith. No, I'm saying he didn't. I'm saying he didn't joke about it on his set. I'm saying he said that after after oh, after the guy. He, he, he did say one thing in the opening. He was like, "I'm all right. I'm all right." I got what, a huge. That's what he pop. said. That's all he said. Oh, I, that's what Chris Rock said. Yeah, oh, he you was, was there that night too. No, but I was. Uh, a lot, lot of homies were there, and they just gave yeah, me play by play. I thought he was going to because it seemed like Dave Chappelle touched. touched Dave Chappelle did like 10, 10, 15 minutes on 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 the whole Will Smith. Oh, did he? But, How was it? I know it was, it was funny, bro. It was man. Hey, Dave. Well, every time I watch Dave Chappelle, I'll be wanting to just throw my little jokes away, bro. Like, I, I ain't talking yeah. about nothing, bro. Yeah. I ain't talking about nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, you ain't but, talking about nothing. I ain't talking about nothing, man. I was like, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. But you should have, but, but that, see, my thing is, is like, when we in this town and we see, like you said, the boutique shows, but you mm -hmm. see like motherfuckers that's funny, bro. Like, they sh like should be, like, G King should be, should have been on there. Yeah. Justin should have, should have already been on there. It should have been like, who in the city that just, just you know, Paul, what I, Paul, you know, know what I'm saying? Told, it's killing it consistently. That's what I told my my homeboy. One of my homeboys was upset that he wasn't asked to be on no show, right? He was feeling a certain type of way. And I said to him, I said, listen, man, where I'm coming from nowadays, I'm all about accountability. If I'm not mm -hmm. getting calls, it's because I'm not popping enough. So, period. Like, so if I'm not even getting invited to the Kevin Hart brunch, which I did it, I and if I'm not getting invited to Netflix, which I didn't until Gumbo hit me up, I'm not blaming nobody else. I'm finna blame myself. What work do I need to put on, put in, to put myself on to make Justin the go-to name to call? You see what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. I'm, I'm kind of done blaming other people for why yeah. I'm not where I want to be at. And then I fucking started a studio. Man, bro, uh, that is a uh, very admirable, bro. I Shout mean, it's, it's you, very bro. hard to tap into that because most it's. I, I think constantly we're all looking at the scoreboard in one way or another, and then it's just to not even look at it and be like, bro, I'm just gonna keep my head in the game, do my own shit, mm -hmm. and that, that's how things like this get built, bro. So that's how I felt about low key. Like I'd see all these big lineups and nobody was booking me, and I'm like, am I like not funny? Right. Am I not hilarious? I'm like, well, I'm on stage and I'm like getting big laughs and I know these mm -hmm. jokes work and like I can tag up other people's shit. <laughs> hey, man, Paul is hilarious, bro. I see yeah, him at Paul Long Beach. Bro, I don't know what joke. It was about the, the porno movies. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. That joke is so funny. Not only that, you are one of the best taggers, bro, period. That's like out here, period. He's tagged at least, I don't know how many jokes he's tagged in mine. Still mm -hmm. using the tags to this day. So shout out to Paul. But anyways, I'm listening. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you, bro. And hey, Lee, is uh, Paul in the shot, him and G. King? Or, or do they need to scoot over? Yeah, they're in the shot. Paul could yeah, probably come shot. over some, probably a little over bit some. because anytime he leans yeah. to the side, he's out. There, there, there we go. How's that? Looks nice. How's that, Lee? Looks nice. Looks nice. Okay. Hell yeah. Looks All right, nice. continue. We're listening. Yeah, man, it's just like I, I spent so much time watching comedy and like I'm like almost mathematical with them. Like I know what can make this funny if you do this and move it here. Mm -hmm. And it's like you put in all this work and then when you're not getting <laughs> asked to do things, you're just like there's something not right. But yeah, you're right. Like I just blame myself. So I'm like, I'm just going to start my own show, you know? Yeah. Then, yeah. You know, and from there, it's then other people are asking you to do their thing because there's always some type of angle, right? They're like, mm -hmm. oh, you got something that I want. Yeah. So let me. So then it's just, you know, which is whack, but it's it just is. the way the game is. It is. When I first moved here, I was like, when I first moved to LA, I was like, I'm going to be funny. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then I'm going to make it. Then I realized, like, nah, I start seeing, like, it ain't about being funny in LA. Mm -mm. Like, the funny is like, you know what I mean? I'm like, it's like, you be funny and be like, hey, you're funny. And it's just be like, all right, now what's next? Like, it's well, just, well, it's not just funny, right? I like, mean, I'm saying like just it's being, other things too. Yeah, it's other but I'm relationships. Saying, like, that's the real key. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I realized. It's who you know? That's why I'm like, oh, it's about who you know. Cause I like, want me down, I get it. Hate that I keep winning. Stab my back is tempting.